triggers the optic nerve's damage in a characteristic pattern. This can permanently damage vision in the affected eyes and lead to blindness if left untreated. It is normally associated with increased fluid pressure in the eye. Glaucoma can develop in the following groups. Diabetics, more than 285 million individuals globally. Hypertensive individuals over 50 years of age. Early onset diabetic children. It is estimated that over 2.2 million Americans have glaucoma, but only half of those know they have it. Glaucoma accounts for over 7 million visits to physicians each year. Approximately 120,000 are blind from glaucoma, accounting for 9% to 12% of all causes of blindness in the U.S. In 2010, it is estimated that 8.4 million individuals worldwide are blind from primary open-angle glaucoma. Our competitors all have devices requiring electric power, which can be user-limiting in many countries, as well as in the U.S. Our device needs no batteries and power supply. The present method of sonometry, where the device has to compress a cornea, requires a skilled ophthalmologist to take a pressure reading. This is unnecessary with our device. The needs of other technologies make their devices cost prohibited and our technology cost favored. Our solution. A low-cost, easily manufactured device with an innovative technology which enables a person to see for himself changes in intraocular pressure when he looks at his eyes in the mirror. This device is very small and can be inserted surgically with a minimum incision between the iris and the cornea, enabling early evaluation of elevated IOP, intraocular pressure, in people with increased risk of developing glaucoma due to high blood pressure or genetic causes in old age. What is a procedure? Makes use of the property of elastomers to change shape due to pressure changes. Intraocular pressure changes cause patterns on the device to change compared to fixed background patterns. Changes in spacing between lines of diffraction grading and holograms lead to color changes due to the interference effect of light. Changes in intraocular pressures are observed by these changes in color or pattern. When a change is noticed, the patient can contact expert ophthalmologists to help in reducing the pressure. Between rigid base tool 2 and elastomer tool 6 is a gel layer tool 4, which is used to enhance sensitivity of the device to pressure. This micro intraocular device has only a height of 1 mm, a width of 2 mm, and a depth of 1 mm in size, and it is encased in a biocompatible polymer. This is how the device appears when viewed away from a distance of 3 feet. The device comprises of a strip of biocompatible plastic and rubber material. It is surgically implanted under the cornea and on top of the iris, just below the pupil, and does not impede the patient's vision. This is the binocular device to check intraocular pressures by color or pattern changes in the micro intraocular device. It is small and light enough to carry anywhere. It only measures 2 inches in height, 5 inches in width, and 3 inches in depth, and is less than 10 ounces. It requires no batteries, no power supply, so patients can check their eye pressure anytime instantly. It consists of an objective lens set, a pair of mirrors, a pulley unit set, and the eyepiece set. Two mirrors with a concave surface and a magnifying device, along with a comparison chart. This is a pulley unit set to move the eyepiece for focusing. When used with the portable measuring device, the patients can instantly obtain feedback regarding critical changes in their eye pressure. When a change is noticed, the patient can contact expert ophthalmologists to provide help in reducing the pressure, and also to enable proper monitoring of drug efficiency in suppressing glaucoma symptoms. We will market to diabetes, pre-diabetes, and hypertension patients. According to the American Diabetes Association and Centers for Disease Control, well over 100 million Americans. We intend to capture 1% of this market within 5 years. Our estimation is that 
at $200 per device, it will generate a gross revenue of $200 million.